Hello guys, my name is Tom Antos and in this video I'm going to show you a rig for the Ursa mini camera. This will uh, work with both the 4K and 4.6K version of the camera since both of those cameras have identical body, basically size, build uh, and weight. Now I've actually had a chance to use four different rigs for these cameras. So if you're interested uh, in uh, taking a look at the, the video reviews for some of the other rigs, so you can kind of compare them, uh, then the links will be provided in the description of this video. Or as always, you can go to my website at tomantosfilms.com. So here, let me just quickly show you the kind of different rigs that I have. Uh, I have one from Blackmagic, which is the simplest, uh, sort of the original one that came out. I have another one from Came TV, which is very similar to the one from Blackmagic. I have another one from Lamport, which is uh, the biggest, the most complicated one, the most expensive, but uh, also the one with the most features. And then I also have another one from KMTV, which is actually the smallest uh, and the simplest rig out of all of these. So in this video, I wanted to show you guys the rig that I got from KMTV. Now this rig comes uh, with uh, the, the most important things that I think this camera definitely needs because when you look at the camera itself, I mean, you can operate it like this with the side handle that they give you, but once you were to, let's say, build it up, put a bigger lens, uh, you know, a, a heavy V-mount battery, uh, then holding it with the side grip gets very, you know, uncomfortable very quickly because you're not holding it at the center of gravity. So definitely having a, a top handle that's in the center is a lot more helpful. Also, there's no way for you to attach a matte box, filters, follow focus, because uh, there's no way to attach rails to this. So that's what this rig, rig will help you with. So it comes with the, the biggest part is the base plate here. Uh, so that will go on the bottom of your camera uh, and has the airy dove style uh, attachments here on both sides so you can attach different accessories or handles um, also has a sort of a padded here case i mean a shoulder pad you can see and this is a very sturdy very nice kind of a firm kind of a like a soft padding uh, also has a sony v mount or vtc uh, style base plate attachment uh, so that's something to consider and I'll, I'll show you guys you know what, what I mean by that in, in a minute uh, it comes with two rails comes with a top handle also comes with this little attachment for let's say if you're going to be using this with uh, uh, the Ursa uh, viewfinder or the Blackmagic you know Ursa viewfinder uh, so if you attach it up here then it allows you to basically easily kind of slide in and out the viewfinder and, and kind of fine-tune its position so that's a nice thing uh, and it also comes with the extension arm uh, so you can move the, the side basically grip here to, to kind of further out uh, and it even comes with the tools for it it comes with uh, you know uh, the allen key comes with uh, actually an extension sort of a cord for um, for the for the side grip so anyways I'm going to show you guys how the whole rig looks but if you're interested in seeing sort of how you put it all together then there's actually a video I did uh, which was the first video about the ca this camera itself uh, where I did the un whole unboxing and I put it put the whole rig together and uh, this was the rig that I actually uh, put, put on there uh, on the camera for the first time. So here's the whole rig kind of built up. You can see the extension arm for the, the grip here. Uh, top handle makes it definitely easier to carry it. Now let's see if I put the V-mount battery here on the back. Uh, uh, you know, once you have, let's say, a whole rig like this, you can attach, you know, a matte box up here. A follow focus you know definitely if you have like bigger cinema lenses it's going to make it easier to carry like i said the whole thing with this nice uh you know top top handle here and also if you put it over your shoulder it just makes it really easy and comfortable to operate kind of a handheld shots uh, you can also attach the viewfinder up here which by the way if you guys are uh, ever thinking of operating this camera over on your shoulder kind of handheld like this then you definitely have to invest in that viewfinder from blackmagic uh, and also just because it's an amazing viewfinder like the quality is amazing but it makes it also a lot more comfortable to use it because then you can have the camera like this you can start to stop the camera with the the you know the the buttons here on, on the side handle uh, and then you can just put your eye towards the viewfinder and you can easily uh, operate the camera without it it you know doesn't mean you can't do shoulder kind of handheld work like this but it's just going to be a little awkward because you have this um the screen you know fairly close to your face uh, you can adjust, there's a bit of adjustment that you can do with this camera you know, on this base plate. So you can move it a little bit back and forth, but uh, you can't move it that much for more, maybe a little bit, maybe like this much, which for some people will be difficult to, uh, to kind of monitor the shots this way. But anyways, this is, uh, this is the rig. Like I said, it uh, you know, gives you all the things I think that, that you need on, with this camera. The biggest one for me is the top handle. Uh, and then another thing is you know, the fact that you have these uh, rails. Now the shoulder pad, 
some people will care about it some people won't care about it for me i don't do a lot of handheld work so you know even if i have to pick up the camera and sort of put it on like a bare you know metal base of the body or something for a little bit for a few shots here and there it's okay so i'm, I'm it's not something that i constantly need this the shoulder pad but again like i said it just depends on on you and what kind of shooting you're doing um, now the extension arm is if you're doing kind of you know uh, handheld work is a must because you know if you had this camera on your shoulder and you had to hold the grip which was here originally no way you could work with like that whereas like i said this way you can extend it to the front um, and it's yeah it makes it a lot more comfortable to operate the camera now also because the extension arm comes with this uh, cord uh, it means that uh, it's not a problem you know connecting the the grips the side grip to the camera uh, because of this cord so that's a nice thing uh, and overall yeah, the grip is really nice now I'll tell you, comparing this to the rig that uh, Blackmagic released, it is almost identical. The difference is this one's cheaper, more affordable. Now as you can see, the base plate of the Kame TV one, which is this one, is identical to the Blackmagic one. Uh, it has little, you know, design like differences here and there, the way the edges are, are finished and stuff, but the dimensions are almost identical. Uh, it's the same thickness, both of these. You can see up here the same thickness, uh, the placement of the, the airy dovetail attachments, the length of it is the same. Um, you know, everything really about it is, is the same. Uh, the, you know, the padding here is looks like it's the same material, both of these, but it's just, again, slight little differences in the way that the kind of edges kind of curve and stuff like that. But otherwise it's, uh, it's identical. Now, the only difference I'll tell you is this one is a little bit he heavier uh, than the, the Blackmagic one. Uh, it's a tiny bit heavier, but n not a big difference. Now, the handle from Kame TV is uh, also very similar to the one from Blackmagic. Uh, the, you know, this one also can, you know, comes with this base, whether you want it or not, uh, which is for the viewfinder. Uh, but otherwise, the handle itself, they're the same width and everything. Uh, the, the biggest difference really is the fact that the one from Kame TV has only two uh, quarter 20 attachments on the top, whereas the one from Blackmagic has three. But in return, the one from Kame TV has a cold shoe mount here on the top, whereas the one from Blackmagic doesn't. So if you want to have that accessory that kind of has that attachment, uh, then you can attach it to the, the Kame TV uh, top handle. Otherwise, yeah, very nice, very sturdy, well-built uh, handle. Now, one thing actually uh, to kind of keep in mind is that if you're going to be using this rig, or the one from Blackmagic, uh, is that you you shouldn't be directly attaching this to your tripod. If you put the tripod, let's say, plate here, uh, it's going to be a little wobbly because there's not enough surface area here to kind of grab properly uh, to it. So definitely once, let's say, you have the camera built up with all the accessories, mud bags and all that stuff, it would not be a, a safe and wise decision to do that. And this, this the reason is because this has a shoulder pad up here. Um, so uh, basically cameras that have a shoulder pad are meant to be attached uh, to sort of a Sony V-mount or VTC style kind of a plate that you'd put on your on your tripod and uh, Kame TV actually makes their own. Here's the base plate um, and here as you can see you have lots of attachments, uh, you know, lots of surface area so you can attach this easily to your tripod um, and then once you have that attached to your tripod then basically you would put the camera you know, on, on top of that and you kind of lock it in place. And that's it. So this way it stays nice and secure. It will not move, um, you know. And if you want to release the camera, it's also very easy because then you have this little handle here and you can pull this up and, and move it. And uh, this, in case you do want one of these, um, uh, this one from Kame TV, I, I can honestly recommend it because uh, A, it's cheaper than the original one from Sony, but also it's um, very solidly built. Doesn't scratch up as easily actually as the one that I got from Sony. Uh, but another thing is that it's it's also a lot lighter than the one from Sony. It's still very sturdy. Uh, it's all metal construction, but for some reason it's a lot lighter. Uh, so that just means that your, your whole rig doesn't become extra heavy. But that's something to keep in mind is if you get this uh, uh, rig for the camera or the one from Blackmagic, it's kind of gonna make the whole thing uh, that much bigger because you have to then use this uh, VTC style, you know, base plate. Uh, and then just, you know, that means it raises the camera even higher. Also, it means that, let's say if you wanna quickly switch from this to like a run and gun setup where, you know, you take away the handle, take away, let's say the whole base plate, the, the rails. So you have a smaller camera, lighter, easier to kind of, 
you know, uh, less noticeable. So you can kind of, let's say, run into some places uh, quickly with the camera. Then it just makes it a lot more difficult because to detach this handle, you need to take the, you know, the Allen key with you. And then you got to basically take the screws out, which takes a little bit of time. Also to, you know, take out basically this bottom, you actually have to remove these two screws um, that attach the, 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 the bottom to, to the camera. And again, so that you would need a, you know, flathead screwdriver or, or a coin or something. Uh, and it just takes time. So that's the only, I would say, negative thing about the rig. But otherwise, it's a very solidly built rig. I would say it's pretty much the same thing as the one that you would get from Blackmagic, except it's cheaper. And it comes with the culture mount and, you know, the extension cable here uh, for the side grip. Uh, but anyways, if you guys are interested uh, in uh, getting this rig, uh, then check out the links in the description of this video or go to my website at tomantosfilms.com. Uh, I'll show you guys where you can get this. Uh, also, if you guys are interested, I have a new product uh, on my website, uh, which is a two-day cine school digital download. For those of you who weren't able to attend my uh, filmmaking workshop that I traveled with uh, at the beginning of this year, uh, it, now it's, uh, it's, it's in a digital, basically downloadable video for format version that you can get and you can find that uh, on my website uh, in the store section uh, also i have a newsletter by the way sign up to the newsletter if you guys want to get cool uh, extras like some custom lots that i created uh, that you can use with any camera plus one that's specific one for the black magic ursa uh, 4.6k uh, black magic ursa mini 4.6k uh, so you'll get all that information and, and more uh, again on my website uh, if you're subscribed to the newsletter. Plus, if you want to get sort of advanced sometimes screenings to certain videos uh, uh, or just anything basically that's filmmaking related that I think is useful to other filmmakers, like I said, uh, just subscribe to my newsletter. Every Thursday uh, of every week, we you know send out an email uh, and just sh I'll share with you guys basically what I'm up to, you know, whether it's new videos, new projects I'm working on, things like that. Um, anyways, that's it. Hope you guys find this video uh, useful. And I'll see you next time.